Good morning. We welcome our fifth graders and our first graders to Mass today. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we prepare our hearts to welcome the Lord. And so if there's any faults, any failures, any sins that we committed, we begin by asking the Lord to forgive us, to cleanse us of our sins, so that we can welcome him with a pure heart. And so we take a moment to remember any faults, any sins, and we ask the Lord to forgive us as we pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Thank you. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and send them to the Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter, le letter delivered by them. The apostles and presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Saria, and Sicilia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went up without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed you with your peace of mind, we have with one accord to decided to choose representatives and to send them to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will convey the same message by mouth of word. It is decision of the Holy Spirit and of us, not to place any you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meat of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey upon their arrival in Antioch. They called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with exhortion, the word of the Lord. The response is, Alleluia, Alleluia. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lear in heart. I will wake the dawn, Alleluia. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations, for your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. Alleluia.
I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. I think I made a mistake. You guys are the first graders, right? Oh, silly me. Well, Jesus, you heard him today. He said, I no longer call you slaves. Instead, I call you friends. You know, before, to be called a slave of God, we kind of think being a slave is a bad thing. But for them, wow, being a slave of God, that's an honor. That's an honor to be a slave of God. Think, for example, you guys like Stephen Curry, you know, the basketball player. What if you got a chance to be Oh, I don't know, his helper. During the game, if he's thirsty, you'll bring him a bottle of water. Or maybe if he's sweating, you bring him a towel. Would anybody would like to be a helper to Stephen Curry? No? No? Yeah? Maybe? Or I don't know, who else, would, who's that, who else is a famous person? Is Taylor Swift famous? She's kind of like a singer. I don't know. Boy, but what if you could be her helper and she would say to you, oh, tweet this message for me. Send this message out for me. Or be her, oh, somebody wrote to me. Write back this letter for me. So for some people, wow, I'm a, I'm a helper to Stephen Curry, this famous basketball player. Or maybe, I don't know, is it Kate Perry? Is she also famous? But some people would say, wow, from all the people, they chose me? And so the same way, to be a slave of God was considered an honor. Uh, like Moses. Moses considered himself a, um, a slave of God. So if you remember Moses, he led the people free from slavery in Egypt, and they went to the promised land. And along the way, he parted the Red Sea for them so they can cross over in dry land. And then, um, you know, God gave him the Ten Commandments and told him to share that with the people. So he had, he was a servant of God, but he said, wow, I'm not just a servant of God. I'm going to do whatever God wants me. I'm going to be his slave. 
So, so being a slave is a title of honor. But then Jesus says something very, very strange to the people. He said, but now, I'm not just going to call you a slave, which is already a on- title of honor. I'm going to call you friends. That's an even bigger um, title. Is there a next slide, sister? So Jesus says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. So if you are my friend, you love one another, you know, if you start fighting, well, hmm, that's not who I am. But if you're my friend, you do what I command, you love one another, you help one another, you forgive one another, you imitate me, then I'm your friend. And I love the difference. What's the difference between when it comes to dinner time? Do you think you'll ever be able, even if you were a helper to Stephen Curry, do you think dinner time you can sit down with him? Or with, what is it? A slave, when it comes to dinner time, a slave serves the meal to the master. Oh, Halo, here, please sit down. I'll bring you your dinner. What else? Would you like something to drink? Right? So a slave will serve the dinner. But a friend, you can sit down and eat together. So Jesus says, no, you're not a slave. You're a friend. You're my friend. I want you to be my friend. I want to be close to you. I don't want you to feel like you're so far away from me that you can't come to me. I want you to be able to come to me. I want to, you to eat with me. I want to break bread with you. I want to eat with you, and I want you to eat with me, and I want you to tell your stories to me, and I'll share my stories with you. So that's a friend. So today Jesus gives us a very high honor to not just be a servant, not just be a slave, but to be his friend. Isn't that wonderful? And we'll leave it at that. So who has the prayers of the faithful? Oh, please, come on up. Together, let us stand. And so Jesus taught us to bring our needs to God, and so we bring our prayers for ourselves and for those in need. We pray for the church scattered throughout the world, that it may grow in unity and bring all people to faith in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the rich nations of the world, that they may use their resources to the benefit of the developing nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for St. Anne's Parish, that we may hear Christ speaking in our hearts and live our lives like him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, our friends, and all of our neighbors, that we may see Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the parents and teachers and all who bring God's word to the young, that they may know something of God's path, compassion, and care for his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the sick may know that they are not alone in their suffering, but they, that, but they, but they, but that they have a share in the passion of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We also pray a special prayer for Daniel Linhart, that he is able to recover swiftly from his medical emergency. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
The family members and friends of Joseph Chan ask us to remember him because he died. And so we pray for him, that the Lord may welcome him to heaven. And we pray for all people who have died and all who miss them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the air for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Joseph Chan, Father Kieran McCormick, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand together, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. I want to thank our readers for uh, preparing and for leading us today. So thank you very much.
And for our first graders, you guys responded and you behave so well. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You guys behave so well. You know, take tomorrow and Sunday off, okay?